Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Reichard, MLIT tutor at Omega Graduate School, and this is a brief video tutorial on manual qualitative data analysis using Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, we will explore a very easy manual approach to analyzing qualitative data, specifically focusing on using text color highlighting in Microsoft Word to identify codes and organizing them under themes. We will also follow Cresswell and Potts' Data Analysis Spiral, a comprehensive framework for qualitative data analysis. Let's get started. Qualitative data analysis is crucial in extracting meaning and insights from qualitative research. While various software programs are available for data analysis, using Microsoft Word can be cost effective, especially for researchers who prefer a manual approach. This tutorial will use Microsoft Word's features to analyze qualitative data efficiently. Cresswell and Potts' Data Analysis Spiral is a simple five-step process for qualitative data analysis. In step one, manage and organize the data. Step two, reading and memoing emergent ideas. Step three, describe and classify codes into themes. Step four, develop and assess interpretations. And lastly, step five, represent and visualize the data. The first step in the data analysis is managing and organizing the data. Create a new document in Microsoft Word and copy and paste your qualitative data, such as an interview transcripts or field notes into the document. It's important to ensure that each participant's data is clearly labeled and organized to facilitate analysis. You can create headings or subheadings for each participant or group of participants, making navigating the document easier. Once the data is organized, proceed to read through the data carefully. As you read, make notes or memos about emergent ideas, patterns, or insights that you observe. This process helps you capture initial impressions and thoughts that may guide for further analysis. You can add annotated comments in Microsoft Word to record these memos alongside the relevant data. Remember to remain open-minded during this stage, as inductive and abductive coding can emerge from these observations. In the third step of data analysis spiral, we move into the coding process. Start by selecting a color for each code you want to identify, for example. You can assign one color representing a specific theme or concept. Using Microsoft Word's text color highlighting feature, apply the designated color to the relevant sections of text that represent each code. This visual representation allows you to see patterns and connections across the data. Next, create headings to organize these codes into themes. For instance, you can create a separate section for each theme and cut and paste the relevant text excerpts under their respective themes. Microsoft Word's cut and paste functionality makes it easy to re reorganize the data as you refine your themes and subthemes. Remember, this process is iterative and you may need to revisit and revise your codes and themes as you gain deeper insights into the data. In the fourth step, it's time to develop interpretations based on emerging themes and patterns. Take the time to analyze the data within each theme, examining the relationships and meanings embedded in the text. Ask yourself questions such as, what does this pattern or theme signify? Or how does it relate to the research objectives? This interpretive process allows you to derive meaningful insights from the data and answer your research questions. To assess the validity and reliability of your interpretations, it's important to engage in member checking or seeking feedback from participants to ensure your transcripts are accurate and correctly reflect what participants said during the interview. The final step in data analysis spiral involves representing and visualizing the data. Microsoft Word offers various tools for creating tables, charts, or diagrams to enhance data presentation. You can create tables to summarize key findings or use charts and diagrams to visualize the relationships between themes or subthemes. 
These visual representations provide a comprehensive overview of the qualitative data and support communicating your research findings. Now let's take a look at some sample qualitative interview data. This study is on how healthcare providers perceive the role of spirituality in a small Midwestern hospital. Here are some sample interview transcripts with some inductive codes and themes already identified according to the research question. In analyzing the interview transcripts, several key codes and themes emerged, providing valuable insights into the healthcare professional's perceptions regarding spirituality's role in patient care. Let's explore how these codes and themes were identified. First, the inductive coding process involved carefully reading and reviewing the interview transcripts to identify reoccurring ideas, concepts, and perspectives. Through this iterative process, the following inductive codes were identified. Number one, patient care. This code represents the overall focus on providing comprehensive care to patients, encompassing not only their physical needs, but also their emotional, psychological, and spiritual well being. Number two, holistic well being. This code emphasizes the significance of addressing patients' holistic well being recognizing that spiritual care is integral in promoting overall health and healing. Number three, incorporating spirituality in practice. This code reflects the health care provider's belief in integrating spirituality into their practice. It encompasses their efforts to acknowledge and address the spiritual needs of patients as an essential component of care. Number four, patient comfort. This code highlights the healthcare provider's commitment to creating a comforting and supportive environment for patients, recognizing that spiritual beliefs and practices can bring solace and peace during challenging times. Number five, respect for diverse beliefs. This code underscores the healthcare provider's understanding of the importance of respecting and honoring patients' diverse religious and spiritual beliefs. It involves fostering an inclusive environment that allows patients to express and practice their faith freely. Once the codes were identified, the next step was to cluster them into meaningful themes. Two overarching themes emerged from the data. Theme one, healthcare providers believe they should incorporate spirituality into their practice to address aspects of patient well-being holistically. This theme encompasses the codes of holistic well-being and incorporating spirituality in practice. It highlights the recognition that spirituality is essential in patient care, contributing to individuals' overall well-being and healing. Theme two, healthcare providers believe respecting diverse beliefs can foster patient comfort and enhance patient care. This theme combines the codes of respect for diverse beliefs, patient care, and patient comfort. It en emphasizes the importance of creating an inclusive and respectful environment that acknowledges and supports patients' diverse religious and spiritual beliefs, ultimately enhancing their comfort and quality of care that they receive. By identifying these codes and themes, we gain a deeper understanding of the healthcare professional's perspectives regarding the role of spirituality in patient care. These insights can inform the development of strategies and interventions promoting holistic care, respecting diversity, and enhancing the overall patient experience. To illustrate your findings, you can then generate an APA-style table with an overview of the themes, codes, and some rich, thick descriptions based on participant responses. That concludes our tutorial on analyzing qualitative data using Microsoft Word. We have covered the key steps of Cresswell and Poth's data analysis spiral, including managing and organizing the data, reading and memoing emergent ideas, describing and classifying codes into themes, developing and assessing interpretations, and representing and visualizing the data. Remember, qualitative data analysis is an iterative process that requires time, reflection, and ongoing refinement. Microsoft Word can be a valuable tool to facilitate this process effectively.